Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're going to do a, a combinatorics problem. So the uh, question is as follows. How many ways are there to arrange M green balls and N blue balls such that no two green balls are adjacent? And the order of green balls and blue balls does not matter. And so, uh, you can think uh, of the order doesn't matter as Say all the green balls are identical, so the or, the ordering between the green balls does not matter. Switching any two green balls uh, does not count as another way to arrange this. Uh, what does matter is the green green something like green blue blue green blue green blue 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 green things like this. It doesn't matter the, the order of the greens themselves and the order of the blues themselves. So, what this says, <coughs> uh, yeah, it's just like you have a certain amount of green balls, a certain amount of blue balls. And what you want to do is find out how many ways are there to arrange these in a line such that no two green balls are adjacent. So, you can have something like, you can have something like, so you can have, you can have something like green, blue, blue, green, blue, blue, this is allowed. What is not allowed is something like green, green, blue, green, this, this is not allowed. Uh, what is allowed is just, <clears throat> something like this is not allowed. What is allowed if we, <clears throat> say, remove maybe this green? <clears throat> now this is allowed because no matter which two green balls you look at, they are not adjacent. Uh, so, now that we got this out of the way, uh, let's begin solving this. And the trick to solving this is seeing that the order of blue <clears throat> does not matter. We don't have any constraints on blue. So, <clears throat> we can first of all just uh, look and just order the blues first, and then in between them, in between the blues, we're going to put the green ones. So we have blue, 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 and we're just arranging them first in the line. And then, because we have uh, no constraints on the blue and the green, and on the blue, and we do have on the green, but we don't have on the blue, so we can say we'll first arrange the blue ones, and then we'll see how many ways there are there to put in the green ones, uh, such that no two green ones are adjacent. So, uh, let's begin. So, we have here N balls, N blue ones, and we want to arrange green ones. So, uh, let's see how many spots are there for the blue ones to take up. And remember, they can be adjacent. And so, if we have a green here, there can be another green here. So we can think of this as this spot is taken. And so, <clears throat> and so now we can think of this as we have all these spots and no two greens can be in the same spot because then there would be a, they would be adjacent. But if they're not in the same spot, they would be separated by a certain amount of blue ones. And so this, uh, and so it will be allowed. So let's see, we have uh, one, two, three, and so on. And generally, we have, uh, you can see that we have the amount of spots for the greens is the same amount for the blues plus one. Because, <clears throat> because we, can, we can think of this as like moving one over, and so each one of these, <clears throat> and so each one of these left spots <clears throat> has, uh, can be possible, so these are n possible spots. But we also need to add on the most right spots, and so we'll have n plus one spots. Or you can think of it in, uh, in any way you like. 
you eventually get n plus 1 spots for the green. Now the green ones, uh, because each one can t each spot can have a maximum of one green, that means that this is uh, now just like arranging m green balls into n plus 1 spots. And, <clears throat> and we can do that because again, no two greens can be in the same spot, so we uh, so we don't have any stuff going around like that. That doesn't that doesn't work. And so what we're gonna get is that we have n plus n plus one spot, out of which we need to pick m to put the blues in. So the green ones in. And so let's maybe take this one, this one, this one, and this one. So what we did, again, we have n plus 1 spots. We, we, we now want the number of ways to put in m green ones, <coughs> m green balls in there, uh, into those spots. Uh, and, and uh, of course, no two green ones can be in the same spot. And the order doesn't matter. And so, <clears throat> what this is, is just the amount of the amount of ways to arrange m m <clears throat> objects into n plus one spots with the order not mattering. But we know what that is: the number of ways to arrange uh, k objects into n spots without the order mattering is n choose k. That is a, a very well-known combinatoric fact, uh, a very useful one, and so we can just use this here. How many spots do we have? N plus 1. How many objects are we putting in? M. And so, we'll have that the number is N plus 1, choose M, uh, which <coughs> just should be uh, all the formula. That's it. That's the uh, that's the formula. So let's look at a an example with a small amount of num numbers. So let's say we have uh, three green balls and four blue balls. So uh, first of all, let's, let's arrange our blue ones, and then we have five spots for the green. And so it could be uh, here, here, or here, or uh, or here, here, and here, or or here, here, and here, and then we move on along all of those, and we'll get putting in three objects into five spots, which is <coughs> which we will get is five choose three. Which is which? Uh, which is uh, five times four times three divided by three times two times one. Uh, the one doesn't matter in a product. This three cancels. This four turns into a two, and we get that there are ten ways to <coughs> arrange uh, three greens and five and four blues. Uh, such that no two green ones are adjacent. So that was just a, a little example. Uh, but that's it. That is our formula. And finally, that's it. If you're interested in more in this uh, choose function, I have a whole other uh, video, two videos in fact, uh, about this and how I get the formula for this and the an actual, uh, first of all, an actual definition of this and the formula and uh, all of that stuff, uh, which I will link, which I will link in the description if the description if you're interested. Uh, but that's it. That's a problem. Uh, if you want more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more interesting uh, problems and things like this in the future. And finally, that's it.